Uh, to be honest, Jerry, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm disappointed. All right? I'm happy with the win. Um, always good to win, but you know, when these guys decide to say that they, they wanted to play, I was a little hesitant because when you have a big letdown like they had the other night and not getting in and everybody, you know, we all thought we were. Um, we thought we, we did enough to. Um, and, you know, as a parent, right, it's like I got 16 little brothers and 16 kids there, and they're all looking to me for an answer, and I don't know what to say, right? And then the last two days of practice, I seen this, and I was trying to warn them how good St. Joe's is. You know, when I seen that that draw, I was like, oh, my goodness. You know, we're playing a really good team that can shoot, shoot the basketball. Um, and, you know, it like we got to – the next two days, we gotta do some. We, we gotta get our our thing back, whatever that that thing is, um, because you can't play like this and expect to win. Um, teams are too good. Like team teams are too good. But um, I thought we did enough to win. I thought the small lineup helped us tremendously. It it, it, shot, it put it like a, a shot in our arm, and in our arm, and I thought Zay came in and, and played tremendously. Um, and I thought that was the difference in the game when we went small. Well, you know, n now it's 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 a, it's a different type of talk now, right? During like during the year, I'm, I'm uh, now it's like, fellas, come on, like you guys, you know, this is this is something that you want to do, something that we say we was gonna do as a team. Um, so now you guys got to pick it up. Um, we had I had to make adjustment with the defense, with the uh, pick and roll defense. It, it was hurting us. They haven't hurt us in a long time. Um, and then the underneath fight the bounce plays, I don't know what was going on. We never let teams score that many points before, ever. Um, I need to find a fight of balance, but so all the things I, I, I got a couple of days to clean up. Um, get these guys a couple of days now. Just, uh, the first one's always the hard one, especially after a mental, physical letdown, like you know, not getting in the tournament. Now, hopefully, they get back to being seen all. And you've been through a tournament before like this, and then that great run with St. Peter's. What, what's the mindset mm -hmm. moving forward? How do you get through these tough games? The first one, the first one's a hard one, right? You, you got to get through the first one. Um, they got to feel good about themselves. Like the last couple of days, they've been feeling sorry for themselves. And I've been, I've been trying everything to pick them up. But now, you know, they got to get, hopefully this make them feel a little better about themselves. And now we get a couple of days to prepare for a good team. Steve, Shy, you went back to that small night up in the second half with Isaiah at the four and Dre at five that helped start the run. How satisfied were you with the way you played in that, in that stretch? I was, it was good. I mean, it was, it was, it was us. It was, it was Seton Hall. Uh, we played with energy. We played with passion. I thought Dylan played great. Um, he got, you know, some deflection, got some steals. Um, and the guy's back going. And then, you know, we kind of fringe it off. Did you have to make like a mental switch in your own mind? Like, hey, maybe my season's over, but now I got to revamp and get going again for this other tournament? Like, yeah. How'd you, how'd you click that in your own mind? So for me, I'm, I'm, I'm super different than anybody else, man. Like, we, <laughs> like, like, like my switch was, <laughs> once we found out who we was playing, that was my switch. You know, I was here to almost two o'clock in the morning watching all St. Joe's game that night before I left to go home. So like my switch, I, I bench switched, but it's hard with young adults, yeah. right? It's hard, it's hard. You know, it's like, what do I say to you after you did everything I asked of you to get where we want to go and it didn't happen? Like, how can I get us over that hump? And I thought basketball would get you over the hump. But now you back to your element of what you know and what you do well, right? Being in, being on the court and then the two days of practice, I'm sitting there, I'm like, I don't have no hair. I'm like, oh my goodness, like what I'm supposed to do to get these guys going. And I'm trying everything, I'm trying everything. And hopefully this win kind of helped these guys start feeling good about themselves again. Mike. Coach, how do you prepare for a North Texas team that did it all last year, won the NIT? How do you prepare for a team? I didn't watch them play yet, you know, so I'm, tonight I will. I have to answer tomorrow or maybe Friday. Um, I'll be up tonight watching them play. I haven't watched them play, so I don't want to give you an answer that. Just give you a BS answer. I don't do that. But I, mean, I think from an experience standpoint, just because they've you know, had a lot of the table before, anything about that? I, I, don't, I don't know their personnel. I don't know who left last year was there. I don't know anything about them. Um, but I know basketball, right? And basketball, scouting is important, but coming to play is even more important. All right, so. Um, Obviously, we're going to get a fill from the next couple of days and then 
Let's see what happens. Uh, Coach, we're in a new world of college basketball now where you started the postseason, right? The offseason began also. So how difficult are your days now where you're getting your team ready to play, yet you're keeping an eye on the future at the same time? Well, the future is now, in my mind, right? The future is now. Um, you got to be able to do both. It is what it is, right? You, you want to play. These guys want to play. Um, me and my coaches got to do our job as far as, you know, all the portal stuff. But um, the future is now. The future is now. You know, I don't look at the future is now. The future is trying to make this team, trying to win the NIT. That's the future. And then we kind of go from there. So you spent a lot of your life in this building. What do you think of the way Walsh was in the crowd responding to this team tonight? It's Walsh, man. It's, it's, it was great. It's great playing here. Um, I thought the fans were tremendous. Um, it was loud, right? Um, I thought our guys started to feed off it late. You know, when I made that big three, I think we took the lead. And, you know, you, it, it was a different type of level from there. Um, it was great. It was great. Yeah. You mentioned your career until 2 a.m. I think it's you know, Sunday. So sort of what, what were some things that you felt like you did a good job on with the St. Joe's? Maybe you were limited on the third. Right, we didn't do anything good. Like, I'll be honest with you, you know, not to, I mean, I think the only thing we got in the second half was we, I think the first half they had six threes. And I think they finished with, they had seven threes or six, I think they only finished with ten. But um, I thought we did a good job on, you know, the kid Brown, who's really good. Um, Reynolds is really, really good. Obviously, the, the, the kid Xavier, the, both, both Browns are good. Um, but they're a different type of team, man. They're they, they really good. They could go small, they could go big. The big kid is really skilled. I mean, he, he made some terrific passes, um, hit two threes, right? Um, and then when the kid Flynn came, you know, he was playing, he, he, he got, you know, on the offensive glass. Um, they're a good team. And obviously, I don't, they point guard didn't play, right? The kid, uh, Greer, like, he didn't play, right? Um, but, yeah, um, good team. Um, it's hard to prepare for a team like that in a short period of time, especially when your mind's not into it without guys. Um, just you can tell by the underneath by the bounce plays. You watch my team play, that never happens to us, ever. But it happened. Last one. Out of three Big East teams lost in this thing last night. Is there anything to kind of keep the mantle of the Big East going? And you know what, Adam? I, it's, it's, it's really tough, man. I like got the game going on, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting down and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, did I make a mistake? And 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 not being the captain of the ship and telling them no, because I know how emotional they they were. And I know it's gonna be really tough for them to get up. Yeah. Right? Um, but then, you know, after a while you say, you know what? Sometimes you gotta let it be what it what it, what it, what it is, right? Um, three teams lost. Um I haven't I haven't watched any basketball since we lost. As far as live basketball, I've been watching St. Joe's. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Tomorrow the Peacocks play, right? So so happy about that. Excited to, to watch those guys play. Happy for Donald. You know they had a big, big, big win, and we gotta get get to work and get ready for the North Texas team.